In this video, I'm going to show you all the cozy vegan meals I made and ate on a festive day in while also starting to decorate and get ready for the Christmas season. Some of these meals I make pretty frequently, but I always change it up a little bit to keep things feeling fresh. I'll also be showing you how I make the most of random leftovers that we all gotta deal with occasionally. Make sure you stick around to the end where I'll show you one of my favorite Christmas treats. For breakfast, I made this really delicious apple cranberry oatmeal. Now, if you guys know me at all, you know I love oatmeal and it's something I make at least once or twice a week. So so for this version, I had some leftover pumpkin nog in my fridge that needed to get used up. It was homemade and it was flipping delicious. So I just heated it up in a pot, added some rolled oats and oat flour, some extra pumpkin pie spice and some tart, sweet little dried cranberries. And I just cooked that all up until it got nice and creamy. And oh yeah, this was really nice. And it's just so warm and cozy. And I also stewed up some apples, which I just chopped and peeled. I literally just sauteed them in a pan with a little bit of maple syrup and cinnamon. And that was it. Super easy. This is usually like a 15 minute meal top. So it's always is something that I make a big batch of so I can enjoy it for like two or three days in a row. It's, it's a winner. Ooh, this made my house smell really good. Mmm. Mmm, mm, that's good. Yes, it is really good, Janelle. <laughs> that is the kind of oatmeal just caresses my soul. Those juicy little cinnamon spiced apples, the pumpkin nog, oh my gosh. Oh, and the little tart cranberries, you guys. Like, come on, come on. Mm. Ah, it is a beautiful, cozy, cold, cloudy day. And I have decided that today is the day that I'm gonna put up my Christmas tree and other Christmas decorations around my house. So that's always fun. I always love doing that every year. Cranking the Christmas tunes, making a little something special to drink and maybe make some sort of goodie. Just kind of like my little tradition. I always have to have something yummy to eat and drink while Brad and I are decorating for Christmas. So yeah, stay tuned for more and I look forward to the rest of this day. Yay! Okay guys, hello. So it's lunchtime and I am so hungry right now. I am very excited to eat all of this deliciousness. So what I have here is, I'll say, here. What I have here are these vegan meatballs, which I am so excited to share with you guys on the channel. In a later video, I'm gonna have a full recipe video for them coming soon, but they're called porcupine meatballs. You may or may not have heard of them before. They're a very old timey recipe that has some really uh, deep roots in my family and I grew up on these and I'm just, Oh, I've been dying for some like actually half decent tasting vegan meatballs that aren't just the ones that you find in the frozen section. The ingredients are so simple. I just used a pack of Beyond Beef, like the Beyond Meat brand, some onions, rice, garlic, salt and pepper, and balsamic vinegar. That's it. And you just mix everything up and you have meatballs and you cook them in this delicious tomato sauce. And <laughs> seriously, it's, it's like my childhood wrapped up in one recipe and yeah i'm just very very passionate about this recipe and i'm so excited to share the full thing with you guys later on in another video oh yeah i'm gonna eat those i got some mashed potatoes and i also made by the way these are all leftovers from last night i also have these air fried mushrooms and they were super simple to whip up in my air fryer i just tossed them in salt pepper oil garlic powder and soy sauce and i air fried them for 10 minutes and they turned out so good, they're juicy and a little bit crispy, and anyway, I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat. Mm. 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 So good. Like I mentioned, these porky pie meatballs will be in an upcoming recipe video, so make sure you subscribe to my channel below by hitting that little button, and then you won't miss out on my future recipes. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm very hungry, so I'm gonna eat my lunch now, and I will catch you guys a little later. 
Welcome to my Christmas tree. I was decorating it here. I was just putting on a few sets of lights. I love our bright little colorful lights that we always put on our tree every year. And I also have this super adorable little garland, which is just a little clothesline of all these little Christmas clothes and jammies and mitts and Santa's suit. And it's too short to fit on my Christmas tree, so I always put it on my stairs every year. And it's so adorable. My mom gave it to me and I love it. Tangled, just a little bit tangled. More challenging than it looks. <laughs> Later on, I wanted to make a hot chocolate. I always make some sort of hot chocolate on the day that I decorate my house for Christmas. So I've got these mixes from Bloom, which I love. So I decided to mix together a hot chocolate mix, which is like a reishi hot chocolate with this salted caramel blend. And ooh, they go so nicely together. So it's super easy. You just mix it with a little bit of water, whisk it all up, add a little bit of milk and sweetener. I used maple syrup here. And then I also had these Dandies maple uh, marshmallows and they are so flipping good. Dandies, don't ever stop making these because they are next level delicious. And they totally just like amped up the hot chocolate to another level. These are so good. And yeah, there's my little cozy hot chocolate. Yum. This feels like Christmas. We're just taking a little hot chocolate break while we're decorating the tree. We've got the lights on and that's it. So we still got the garland and the decorations and it's my favorite part. Uh, yeah, come along for the journey. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to see the tree when it's done. <sighs> my favorite time of year. Mm. This is also really good. Oh yes, that hockey game in the background is so aesthetic. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's dinner time, and it's a random one, that is for sure. So we have a lot of leftovers tonight, like a lot of really random, total smorgasbord of a leftovers kind of situation. Uh, you know, being a food blogger, at least once or twice a week, this is what happens. I just have little bits and pieces of leftovers from things I've been cooking and recipe testing and filming throughout the week. And they all just kind of accumulate in like a dozen containers in my fridge. And then this is what happens. I don't want to throw out food, so I just gotta have one random meal <laughs> that just not makes sense at all. And tonight is it. So Brad and I are gonna share whatever it remains which is uh, got some leftover broccoli and cauliflower from the other night. We also have some leftover baked beans, which is something I recently filmed, which may already be on the channel by now, but if not, it's gonna be right up here. And then I got some carrot fries, which was part of that video as well. Plus, we got some leftover pasta from Brad's birthday dinner that we had a few nights ago. It was his birthday, so that was a delicious, delicious pasta. And I got some coconut rice, also from a previous video that I filmed, so that'll be hitting the channel soon. And we got some fennel, celery, and apple salad, which is really good. Uh, it's a couple days old now, so <laughs> I hope it's not mushy. It kind of, it's kind of got that sad, juicy look to it that means it might not be as crisp. So we'll see how that goes, but yeah. Let's do this. Mm. Yes, carrot fries. Mm. Carrot fries, so good. Such a brilliant way to use up a bunch of carrots at once if you bought one of those ginormous bags that you get this time of year. Mm. <laughs> so good. Mm. Mm. Wow, there is nothing quite like homemade baked beans. Wow, those are like, like way better than any canned baked beans I have ever had. So good, 
for a winter salad. I cook my coconut rice in my Instant Pot. I use like equal parts coconut milk and uh, veggie broth. And then I add some fresh minced ginger. Sometimes I add garlic. This time I added a little bit of lime zest. Mmm, yeah, major yum. Okay, last on this list of randomness, let's have some pasta. A creamy rosé, uh, fusilli or rotini? Fusilli, I did the same thing. Mmm, mmm, Brad's making fun of my weird dances. I know leftovers can be boring, and especially in my case tonight, they are super random. They don't necessarily all go together, but honestly, I hate food waste, and so I'm happy to do this every now and then. And you know what, sometimes you just gotta treat food as fuel every now and then, and I'm hungry, and it kind of saves me from having to cook anything for dinner tonight, so in a way, I'm actually pretty grateful for these leftovers, albeit they are super strange to pair together. <laughs> to end off the day, I made a batch of Welsh tea cakes, which are among my favorite holiday treats. I talk about them a lot at this time of year, so make sure you grab the recipe for them below. They're like the love child of a scone and a shortbread. They're loaded with currants and are basically the best thing you'll ever eat. You're welcome. Thanks for sticking around with me today and getting into the Christmas spirit with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration for some plant-based meal ideas. I'd love to hear from you so leave me a comment below. Let me know how you like to get ready for the holidays and winter. What kicks off the season for you? I hope you have a great rest of your day. Make sure you like this video and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next one. So good. Mm.